Hey there, Ashley, all things and what I want to do is sort of discuss briefly one way to mix MTA. I've been shown by several mentors and watched several dental assistants do it, and it's, they come down to the same thing placing the powder. It's like mixing a cake, except for the cake is MTA cement. So, uh, MTA typically comes in, a, I mean, it comes in a gray and white form. And here it is in the powder. Let's see it in the container. There it is. And in the box container itself, the manufacturer sends sterile water. Uh, what we typically use is local anesthetic or blood. And uh, the reason why is it's local. You need so a little amount of you use so little of this. First of all, to fix a perforation or root end surgery or uh, filling, obturating a canal with it. To so use a very little amount of powder and you use even less of the liquid so it's nice when you have local anesthetic that it drips out of a uh, used you can just use drip by drip so what we're going to do is this is part of the map system you can see the syringe here we've got the large tip on the end and I'm just going to place pour this in if I get this in the camera it's just going to roll out or not So there it is. So it comes, there's the powder form, and you can use any dap and dish you want. This is probably a, a lot, this is a lot for, say, a perforate, a furcal perforation to repair it, but it's good for, for uh, demonstration. So I'm going to take my local anesthetic, it's sterile, so the key is to have something sterile, and we're just going to place the drops into it. Now the manufacturer suggests mixing this for one minute to make sure that all the uh, particles are hydrated. <clears throat> so this would be definitely considered a soupy mix. And we can dab off the ex blot off the excess with a cotton pellet. The best, my experience, the best way to utilize this material is with a carrier, such as the micro apical system or micro micro apical placement system, which you see here. So I'm just going to take a cotton pellet to blot off some of the excess moisture. You could let it sit and dry. That's definitely an option. So it dries up pretty quick. So you can see it's dried out a little more there. There we go. So the consistency, I'd have to say it's like the sand, you pour water on sand and then the water kind of flows away, but it's still there, but it's not on the surface. You know, it's kind of dried away. That's kind of the consistency you want. I'm gonna take my, my map carrier. Two things I'm gonna point out. When you're using it, make sure this has been cleaned well. Make sure that when you press it all the way down so I've extruded the material that I can see the end of the piston and when you pull back you don't when you pull back you don't see it so and then loading it, it's just like an amalgam carrier this may be a little bit runny actually still you can still see some water, it's still shiny. Typically you don't want to see its shininess. Okay, that should be sufficient. I'm trying to save that excess material. And then let's just extrude it on the paper. Yeah, it's a little, so it's a little wet. You can see how there's, now the paper's absorbed it. It was shiny when it came out. So what you can do with this material is fairly significant. And let me just show you with this perforation I made, the furcation, this mandibular molar. 
I filled it already once with MTA in a previous demonstration. So I'm going to make sure that when I hand this back to my dental assistant, I pulled back the piston. I'm going to fill this. Now you can see how it's some of the moisture has run off, has been evaporated. It's just almost perfect. Okay, remove the excess. And the best time to repair a perforation is the at the moment you do it. Okay. Pull back on the piston. Now take my condensing and if you have ultrasonics, it's a good time to use ultrasonics to sort of place your packing instrument. Place your packing instrument and then tap it with the ultrasonics. And then just sort of mix that around. So I would definitely place another level of here. And a number of years ago, we used to go back, sorry, I sound like an old guy. You used to go back in and check 24 hours later, make sure it's set, make sure it's hard. Now we typically place our uh, definitive, rest definitive restoration if indeed uh, you're completing the endodontic therapy, etc. I hope that helps sort of taking a look at mixing MTA, placing in the MAP system, and then quickly placing it in my homemade vertical perforation. Cheers.